Well, hello again. Sorry about that. I think uh, my uh, feed went down for some reason then. So, uh, not to worry. I've made a start. Let's just give you a quick recap. Here we go. 247 today, regular tile. I've added a little bit of ink around it. And just to sort of get us going, I've created this sort of swirly shape, two lines. And then on the end there, I've added a couple little bubbles, an extra little line there, and then a second bubble or a third bubble. And I want to do the same on the other end. So let's go a little bit bigger now. There we are. So a little bubble there. Okay, and then another one. And then just a couple of little lines. See, just sort of extending it. Small one. I might even do a little one there as well. Let's do the same on that end. There we go. All right. So that's sort of our first starting point. Next bit then, let's have a look. I'm going to start in one of these shapes here. So you could start this side or you could start this side. It really doesn't matter. Whatever is more comfortable for you. And I'm going to do start sort of at the top. And I'm going to create um, a line coming out. And then it sort of comes in at an angle. And down, following that curve. Okay, <laughs> hello again. <laughs> I know, Trees, I don't know what happened. It just suddenly died. So I thought, right, okay, not a problem. Let's just uh, carry on and start. Start where we left off. So I'm sorry if uh, you're still struggling to catch up. I'll take it easy with this one. There we are, all right. So, so far, look, you see, I've done this lovely little swirl. I did a couple little bubbles either side. There we are. And then I've got these lovely sort of lines coming in here okay just thought i'd uh, test you all see if you could find me still you notice that they're getting smaller but i'm still going back to that same curve at the bottom there all right yeah oh lynn facebook is awkward i'm still still struggling with the uh, few bits and pieces i'm trying to get it there Okay, you see how this one's started to sort of curve now? Because it's following that shape. There we go. And around. And then I'm going to do another one. There we are. And around. Okay. So uh, I'm going to put a little line in each one there. Not all the way up to the top. But each one just a little bit further on. Again, bringing it down into that curve. There we go. All right. <laughs> Hi, Pat. <laughs> so, little dot, I think. And then a couple of smaller ones. Just following on from that line there. Same again. So, yeah, some of you will be doing this with you. Jubilee tiles then. Which one to do? Are you going to go the bright white? Are you going to do red? Are you going to do blue? Oh, decisions. There we go. Oh, and Wendy, you're going to have such fun with those stencils. Okay, see we've got this sort of shape here. I'm going to put a little bubble in there. Just take your time with it. There we go. No rush at all with that one. And then I can get another one in here. Again, just take your time. No rush with it at all. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, then, of course. You can, uh, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to sort of stay on this row here. There we are. <laughs> Got this a little bit here. So I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to come out and then in. See, my, my curve, it's not really a curve. It's more of an angle, isn't it? So if you've done a curve, that's fine. Let's do another one. Sort of comes in so it's a little bit triangular at the top, maybe. There we go. And this one, because it's real close to the edge there, I'm going to put another one in because I've already got bubbles there, so it really doesn't matter. 
five minutes before let's add these lines in one you see how it's a lot thicker there because I've continued to, to take those lines back just adds a little bit of definition there and these ones okay so we've got those two that's just wavy is a little bit different than mine depending on where you were began all right and keeping it going this time I'm going to stop there because I want this little shape so that's continuing it down there we go I don't know then I know it just paused it's not good is it if it's um, if it does, I'll finish and I'll start again where we we left off. So, um, if it causes a problem, then not to worry. We'll uh, we'll just connect again. Oh, me! <laughs> that's me moving. <laughs> just thought it might be worth trying a different part of the classroom. There we go. I know, Teresa's not good, is it? Let's see if it's uh, where I am rather than. Okay, where were we? Okay, we did this one. So let's do the same in this one. Oh, okay. All right, so let's uh, go from here. Bring it up and around. And same again. Oh, yeah. And again. All right, no rush with this. Take your time with it. Sort of enjoy those lines. And when you get to the bottom, just sort of continue it round a little bit. And then the same. There we go. We've got that lovely little shape there again. So let's put these little lines in you know to each one it gets a little bit a little bit taller so it just sort of works with the shape and then you can bring these lines down and then hold on hold on there we are you might get two in there you might get three depends how large your line was when you drew it so Ooh, fill that bit you see, each little dot gets a little bit smaller each time as well. Okay, so let's have a look. I reckon, uh, looking at this, let's have a pull it out again. I reckon we could get one in here, you know. Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to go from this way then. See, so you can look at yours and you, if you think there's no, no chance of another one here, then not to worry. So you, you know, have a look at your tile and you make the decision if you think you need to do another one. I'm going to fill that in now. And then another one here. There we go. Just sort of skimming that bubble there. And then let's add these lines in as before. Oh, thank you, Pony. It is, uh, yeah. Signal's not so good today. Well, I hope it's going to just hold out while we do this. But, uh, I know some of you are all asking about crafters and when I'm next on there. I've uh, sort of got a date. It's possibly going to be the 24th of this month. So that should be nice. That's nice. Look at that. I like it that way. I quite like it that way. But uh, we'll see. We've got other things to do in there yet. So... Let's have a go. I mean, we could actually put another one in here. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Well, if I do it, and then if you think, well, do you know what? I'm going to leave mine. At least you know how it's going to look. But entirely up to you. I do like this shape. It's really nice with that curve, isn't it? So again, I'm going to do one more thing there. There we go. Oh, as long as it seems like people are out on their holidays now. I hope you're having a good time. And thank you for taking time out of sun, sea and sand 
to do a bit of tangling with us. There we go. Uh, oh, Lynn, I knew you were going to ask. I'm prepared. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to do one here as well. Just sort of finish it off. I am going to be bringing the, the Brunzio pencils to Hobby Maker. I do have a, a few, so I thought we'd take them on. And a couple of bits and pieces. Some you might have seen before, some you might not. All right, do we think, yeah, I think it probably needs those bubbles in there. Or shall I leave it? Let me have a look. I think I'm going to leave it. But if you want to do this, you can put two bubbles in there. It's uh, entirely up to you. Okay, so next little job then. I love that, it's really nice, isn't it? So I'm gonna go a little bit bigger. And uh, let's start, doesn't matter where you start because we're gonna do a few of these. I'm gonna start, I think maybe, maybe down here. I'm gonna pull out a line. And I'm gonna put a little sort of teardroppy shape there. Not too small, there you go. And a couple of little lines either side. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a few more, so maybe a couple there, see, and maybe one there. I don't want them all completely symmetrical, so one there. And let's put these little droplets on the end there. There we go. And then pull those little curves in. There we are. Makes a little bit of a difference, doesn't it? You could do this with our regular leaf sort of flourish and, and have all these going down the side, but I want it a little bit different. <laughs> oh, oh, Lynn, I, if we get time at the end, I'll show you. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Okay, now I'm going to do what we call an aura, but I'm going to go quite close around this shape that we've created. See, quite close all the way around. Okay. Uh, Joanne, yes, the new item is for Hobby Maker this Thursday. And uh, it's uh, taken me a while to do so I'm really looking forward to showing you really proud of it actually all right <laughs> and along and up there we go and just follow it around don't worry about keeping any sharp edges just sort of go round I think down here though I'm, I think I'm coming back in to meet it but you can do them all round if you like. Just sort of take your time. Okay. Again, working my way, so I'm joining up. Don't think you've got to do the whole line in one go. Sometimes if you find that you're tensing your hands, just relax it. You don't want to be uh, getting cramp in your hands because you're trying to focus. So stop and start if you need to. There we are. Let's have a look at that. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to do another. Let's, uh, let's bring it out this side. So again, not too small. And then a little drop it on the top. There we are. Same as before. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joanne. It's uh, honestly, it's not necessarily about the stencil and instructions or. Whatever it may be, it's about how, how you all create something from it. That's the, the marvellous thing. And the, just the facilitator. There we are, see? I'm going to do these droplets and little curved lines. Okay. And then there. Let's do that aura again. So start here so you can stop and start don't think you've got to do it all in one go keep it close oh that's a bit too close but that's okay and around 
we stop there and then coming back up at least on first day it's not eight it's six o'clock in the morning not that i mind it was really nice it was lovely to meet ruth Dobby's done nothing but talk about her ever since. Actually, Dobby's refused to come in the office because he doesn't want to spoil his clothes. So I've promised him I will make him a pair of jeans. So he's got a pair of jeans for the office. <laughs> and then he'll come in, he said. He says, if I don't, he's going to move in with Pauline Wheeler. And he has actually got his bags packed. <laughs> so I've ordered some denim. You've got to love him. I think he just thinks he's living in the life of luxury at the minute and he's got no work to do, so. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Oh, thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. I really do. So. I do wear, uh, I do. Try and come out with a few new bits and pieces just to keep you going, challenge you a little bit. I know that the uh, Create Art project was a little bit of a challenge, you know, because that's got no stencil in it. It was all just about the instructions, but please bear with it and keep trying it. If you've not finished it yet, I've got one in progress. So. Uh, I could, uh, I could perhaps I'll photograph it and post it and then do a little bit more and so you can see the steps and how I'm finishing it. Oh, Chris, that'd be lovely because we, um, we could do him a denim jacket, couldn't we, to go with his jeans. So, absolutely. And he's got some really cool shoes to wear with his jeans. He's actually also, you know, when he did his shopping spree the other week, he bought some sandals. So I'm expecting that he's going to want a shorts and t-shirt soon, so. <laughs> All right, keep it, keep it close. Just work your way around it. Just turn your tile if you need to. Well, it's a nice addiction, isn't it? There's always so many things. Do you know, I'm, I'm really impressed as well of all the the mandalas that you've been creating from the stencils. They're fabulous. Oh so, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on a few more of those. I think I'll get a few more out to you. So they were nice. They were lovely to sort of create. So. Um, lovely to work with. Uh, yeah, Len, he will need some, some cool <laughs> shades. So, there we go. I know, Reba, if it's a different type of denim, I think that's okay. It's when there's two lots of denim. But, but with Dobby, you know, he, he doesn't think about fashion. He just wears what he wants. So, uh, yeah, he, do, he doesn't care. He's, he's going to be a sandals and socks person. I just know it. There's no way you're going to get him wearing an outfit without socks. <laughs> All right. So again, I'm keeping it really close. Following it round. Stop and start when you need to. Don't think you've got to do it all at once. Okay. <laughs> I know, Nicola. It's funny. There you are, just sort of coming around. <laughs> Come on, this is Dobby we're talking about. Maybe we'll have a chat with him and see you. Maybe we'll get Tommy to have a chat with him about men's fashion. <laughs> oh dear. then so you see we've got this lovely sort of little design coming around oh Sheila that would be amazing yeah some, <laughs> some shades for Dobby I don't know 
It's going to need a bigger suitcase and make me going on. So see, sometimes it's nice to put these lines in first. And sometimes you might find that you want to add each droplet on individually. It's entirely up to you which way you go. Okay. So I think actually it possibly needs one there as well. Like I'm going to do on it. So it looks like it's going through underneath there. All right. And along. And then working around. And out. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to sort of start here and come downwards. But now you turn your tile so it, it works with you being comfortable. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm really pleased with this. It's a nice one. I mean, I did ink around the tile in black. You don't have to, of course. But uh, I just wanted it to be dark around the edge and quite light on the inside. So that's why I, I went for a dark ink. You can do whatever you like. I think I'm going to bring a little bit of coloured pencil into it. But not much. Just maybe a little bit of an accent. So we'll see, we'll see when it's when it's drawn. I think I need to do another one of these yet. So have a look at it. All right. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe do I? Because if I, if I do another one, I've got three on one side and three on the other. And do I want another one coming out of here? Or? I think I am going to put those bubbles in there. Actually. All right. It's nice to go back and just check. You can add things whenever you like. It really doesn't matter. And I think I'm going to add a few bubbles in around the place as well. There we go. I'm not going to sort of over overdo it, although can you overdo it with bubbles? A few in there. Maybe a little one. Oh, thank you, Bernadette. Do you know, it means ever such a lot. And we could have stopped, couldn't we, at the end of lockdown? We could have decided that that was going to be it. But I think we're having way too much fun, honestly, to actually sort of uh, say we're not going to do any more. Uh, all right, then. I'm going to come in with the regular pencil first. And I'm going to start in the middle with these shapes. So I think I'm going to bring the colour in on these little bubbles so everything else is going to be uh, in with all this. So let's, let's add some to the bottom here. We want it to be quite dark there. Okay. And then there's two ways of doing this. We could add a little bit down here or we could add a bit at the top there. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the top today. There we are. Maybe just a little bit down the side as well. So working on each one of those. I'm not being too light with it today, but again, if you want to do it light and build up the layers, you can. It's fine. There we go. Oh, I know Nicola, they're part of mine as well. I don't know what I'd do with myself if I didn't do a tile at least once a week. There you go. And in and along there. There we go. See, I'm just bringing it down a little bit there. Okay. So, same with this one. Again, top and bottom. Just bring it down a little bit further there. And I think actually I'm going to go back and I might, I'm going to put a border in. Just to sort of con contain it. But I can do that afterwards. I'll do that when I've done all this. So, same here. So, a little, just a little bit more down that side there. And then, uh, it's quite small, but I'll still do it. A bit at the bottom. Oh, Pat, I know. It's, uh, it's our little community, isn't it, now? It's, uh, it, it's not just about coming and doing the tile. It's about actually saying hello to people, meeting it each other again, isn't it? 
Um, this is just, you know, this is just part of the fun, but it is about people meeting. Speaking of that, of course, we've got the tile swap going out on Friday. So you've still got a couple of days to get that in. I've noticed some new names, which is lovely. And of course, Leslie and I have put ours in, so if you get a chance. And then, of course, it's always the, uh, the new one is going to be the third Monday in the month. Nicola, we got yours this morning. I've opened yours. So we did have some in the post. So uh, got that one. It's gone in the box with the others. And we go. See, we sort of fill in those bits in. Let's do this one as well. There we go. And again at the top. Just going down a little bit more on that side. Okay. So let's uh, have a look at these. I'm just going to add a little bit, so just a little bit to the side, just like a little smile, a little smirk on the end there. It doesn't matter which side, mix and match it. We don't want to be doing a huge amount. And there. Going to give it a little bit of shade. Oh, Elizabeth, that's lovely to hear. I feel like that. Tommy's working through book one at the minute. He's doing really well. So we're uh, we'll uh, getting him up to shape in no time at all. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm going to just use my torch on and uh, soften all this out first. And then I'm going to come back and add a, a little bit more pencil. But the tortillons across the room. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, Nicola, it's fabulous. Honestly, don't worry about it at all. Never worry about sending a tile in. It's, it's about you spending some time to create something for somebody else. It's... Uh, and it's quite, it is a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Because with all these tiles, I, uh, we follow what I do. But with those, you've got a, a specific tangle and you have to come up with the design. So it gets you thinking. And I know sometimes it can be a bit tricky. But honestly, they're, they're all fabulous. All of them. <laughs> you know? Some, will, some people will struggle with some some with others so don't worry about it you know you see i'm i'm leaving that little bit in the middle there i'm not wanting to cover the whole thing but just sort of working along with both edges there there we go that's lovely isn't it same with the others not too much pressure, I don't think it's necessary. But again, if you can quite light, you might want to go over the top of it. <laughs> oh, Nicola, we'll get you there. That's the whole point of doing them. You know, it starts you off on that road, trying something a bit different. There you go, and creating your own different bits and pieces. Thank you, Leslie. You're welcome. Cup of tea time. Hi guys! Oh, she is. <laughs> there we go. All right. See, just little bits, and then the same sort of thing across the bottom there, and then another one. So, what's going to be uh, the next tile swap then? I've come up with a tango we've not used before. And then, uh, at least I give you some ideas. Looking forward to it. it be fun. Okay, let's have a look at this where we are so far. All right, look at that. I'm just going to sort of softly touch the little uh, smirky shapes again. I'm not covering it completely. Let's go a little bit bigger. <laughs> uh -huh. There we 
go. We do have uh, Tommy joining us today. So when you see Leslie Alf, he's um, following along with the tile whilst Leslie's packing. <laughs> She'll catch up later. We'll get Tommy to do the tile swap as well next time, so that'd be quite fun, won't it? Get him to come up with a new uh, tile as well. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look what we've got here. I think we need a little bit of pencil now, just on the, the bottom edge of these here. I'm not gonna overdo this, because otherwise we could end up with graphite everywhere and no sort of set design because what I'd like to do is a little bit of shading around that main shape. So you're just pulling it up a bit. I'm not gonna let's say I'm not gonna do loads. There you go. Okay. So taking my pencil now I'm not gonna go as heavy as I did before. I'm gonna add a, a bit of graphite just around those edges. See, just working my way around over everything that's been before. I'm gonna stop there, okay? And then here, I'm gonna sort of start about here again and work my way around. So I'm not being particularly neat, but I'm not pressing on as much as I did before. Uh, oh, Cheryl, it's it's my regular pencil. You you wanting to be um, a, a, at least a, a B or a two B pencil, a HB if you've got nothing else, but they tend to work best. You notice now, look, I'm I'm working in swirls. I just want to sort of pull that pencil out a little bit. Following it round. There we go. Just a little bit to sort of finish off there. Not too much pressure. I know, Joe. Maybe, Joe, I'll um, roll the dice and see what comes. And then we'll do that one for uh, our tile spot. Maybe I'll do that. But I do have to think, you know, I want to make sure that it's achievable for everybody. And, uh, Lots of different ways, so I'll sort, I'll sort it, don't you worry. There we go. Alright, so I did say I was going to put a border on, so I'm going to do that before I add any colour. So let's have a look at border wise. I don't want to zoom, there we go. So I'm going to come in, I'm, going to, I'm not going to worry about it being too straight. Um, so let's put one in here so of course I'm going to go underneath if I need to come out about there same here let's uh, sort of work it out and if you think oh, I'll use a straight edge that's fine if you want to do a slightly more wavy design that's fine too that works let's uh, just sort of gauging it by eye. I'm going to join them together in a minute. There they are. Okay, and the bottom. So I'm going to sort of uh, working it down that way. And I'm going to just join it there. There we go. So back in with a little bit of pencil. And you can, you can go outside or inside this border, really, whatever works for you. I'm going to go inside and I'm pressing on a little bit. I want to get a good shadow in here. Now what else is this? So, okay, my way around. Oh, a decision on colour now. I'm going to have a think about what colours to use. So while I'm going around. I'm doing this little border. I think uh, maybe blue. 
Yeah, maybe blue with a bit of green. So again, because I've gone quite heavy, you want to go in with a quite a bit of a swirl to get it started. And I'm going to go behind everything, so it's all about that depth again, isn't it? Giving it something to sort of look more three-dimensional if we can. There we are. Turn it around there. Soften it up this way. Of course, we could bring our white chalk pencil in to give it a few highlights. I think maybe we'll do that. I'm just going to see how it goes with the coloured pencil first. Okay. And just sort of those little bits there. There we go. And turning it round. Oh, orange and purple. Could be quite a nice combination to do that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not used to orange and purple in ages. Let's do it. Okay. So let's have a look what I've got. Okay, so let's, let's come in with a little bit of purple first then, shall we? What do I have? Uh, I've got a couple there. Oh, a couple of purples. And of course, I need a, a white pencil in with this as well. So let's start. I'm going to put the white in first, just so I know to where I'm going to head. I want a bit of a heart. So I'm looking at these bubbles. I'm just going to add a bit of a white line on there. Now, you might not see this. It depends on what colour tile you've actually got. But when you get to it, I'm going to do it on these as well. And course these larger ones so yeah it, it, you can feel it so when you actually come in with your color you know it's there all right let's start with the darker purple I think I'm gonna go in the middle there or shall I? no I'm gonna go on the edge I'm gonna do orange there and let's bring a little bit of purple in I'm gonna do the same here you see sort of like that funny sort of C shape. And a couple of those. And I'm going to do them all at, at once. Maybe a couple there. So they're a little bit more random in terms of where the colours go. Now this sort of lighter purple in there. So I'm sort of blending it and working it as I go. There we are. So you're not overdoing it really, just adding a little bit over the top and again sort of around that bit of white there. I say you'll feel it more than see it on the, if you've got a, a, a bright or a light tile. You see going around it, so it's a lot thicker here than there, you see? And same there. And there. A couple of bits here there. See, it looks like these need a little bit of uh, silver or gold, don't they? A bit of gel pen or something. So I'm going to spring my white back in. I'm going to sort of create that little circle again. It's going to sort of blend in the colours around it a little bit. Okay. And just sort of work in the colours together. Same up here. They're quite small, so they're going to be very forgiving. So don't worry if it's not blended completely, it's fine. So I'm going to come back in with that, that purple and just add a touch on the edge. If I, only if you need to. I think mine will benefit from that a little bit more there. That's it, it's not to worry about it. Do any little. And there, just a little bit more of that again. Of course, if we got more time, you could build these up in layers. But because they're quite small, we don't really need it that much. So let's have a look then at the uh, orange combo. What do I have here? So I've got a um, an orange. I'm going to bring in. I've got like a uh, golden sort of yellowy colour and the white. I might need a red, but I'll, I'll see how I get on with these. 
um, oh goodness me, yeah, macro tile book. I do I know that we've, we're looking at doing a uh, a box for your tiles, so that won't be long. I keep nagging you on about that one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do all of them while I'm going. Remember, I put my white in at the beginning, so I don't need to go back and do that for a minute. Let's uh, fill in those there. You know, so I'm not. I'm not doing all the bubbles, I'm just going to do these ones that I can sort of add a bit of colour into. So I'm back in with that sort of a golden y, there you go, golden -y yellow colour. <laughs> yeah, go on. We're on it. <laughs> it should be done by the end of the month, easy. Okay. So see now because I'm coming in, with, I've got a yellow and an orange, it's, it takes a little bit more work to blend them together. Not much at all here, there. But then, of course, if you bring that white back in, just helps it out a little bit. Yeah. And I'm going to, I think I am going to bring in a bit of red as well. I've actually got a sort of a ready orange. There you go. So it just needs that little bit more darkness there. Okay. These, not so much because they, they're really tight. Okay, let's have a look at this then. All right, so we've got a bit of colour in there. It just gives it that little bit of a change, doesn't it? So I'm going to come in with the, my regular pen. I'm going to put some white pencil on in a minute, but let's come in with a pen just for a minute. I'm going to go a bit bigger. And you see, remember this sort of first line that we drew? What I want to do is, is come in and redefine it, but not everywhere. I'm just going to draw it up to here, so where I've done those little lines. And then back along to here. Ignoring that around there. And back along all the way up to there. And then the same here. Okay. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Right there. So just where we've got those little shapes and we're going to leave the top end without uh, any extra pen there. I'm not going to put any there. So, all right. Now I'm going to come in with my white chalk pencil. You, you can do this with your white pencil, but you're going to get um, a more defined sort of a effect with these. It will go over more things. Yeah, so I'm just going to go in where I've got those little sort of highlights anyway. I'm just going to accentuate them. With the pencil, same sort of here. Okay, and then along this line, I'm just going to do a little bit. You know, just where I drew that black line earlier. Just sort of take it around a bit. Say, if it's on a light tile, you're not going to see a, a huge amount, but I think it makes a difference. It's nice to sort of do. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Doesn't want to zoom out today. There we go. All right, so I think, it, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more pencil around the edge. It just needs a little bit more. We just want to bring it out. So there you go. I'm just going to sort of do that middle bit there. And then just sort of soften it. I'm not going to go as far as before because it's already been shaded. So this is like a second layer almost. Look at the difference that's made. And then same on this one. And it's working my way around. Okay, just sort of around that bottom edge there. Oh, you're welcome, Lance. You can see what it looks like now before you use your colours, unless you're going to use them in maybe more orange and purple. 
You could always actually colour this line in if you wanted to as well. There's, there's lots of options. And of course, if you've got a, a white pen, you could have a little white highlight on each of those. But I do have, so I do have a silver pen. So I can actually come in and just add a little bit of silver to uh, those. It's there. I'm just going to come where that black dot is. Just add a little bit in there. Yeah. There we go. Just a touch. Nothing too crazy. And then back in with my black. Let's have a look at that. So you know, I'll start at this end. Let it give a chance to dry. I'm going to draw around it. There you are, and then put those dots back in. Oh, there you go, draw around it, put the dots back in. <laughs> Same sort of thing there. Sometimes it's just about picking up on those extra little bits that we want to stand out and leaving the rest sort of in the distance. So, uh, there you go. I'm gonna just make sure you, if you're using a gel pen, it's dry before you try and go around it. So it'll argue with you a little bit. There you go, how different that makes. And then just sort of around these ones. And then, Joining those in. And of course, I didn't do it on the. Just to add a touch of silver in there. I'll put these in, give it a chance to dry for a minute. Go around. Just don't want to sort of touch the gel pen with yours. Alright, let's have a look. There we go. So we've actually now got this sort of swirl standing out a little bit more, which is what we wanted. So I'm going to have a look. Let's uh, do I want it this way? I quite like. I like it this way actually. I think that's really nice. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to even put my signature sort of this way, so I remember how I liked it like that. So there we go. So number two hundred and forty-seven with a little bit of a hint of colour and. Coil cho colour choice from Lynn and her purple and orange, so give it a go. And um, of course, we mentioned colour, and we've looked at the, the board behind, a lot of flowers on there. So, what I've done for the um, the new stencil, because yeah, it's a new stencil, uh, usually I put, I don't know, maybe, maybe three different sets of instructions in there for you to do three different items. But this time, um, what I've actually done, I've got a little bit different. I've actually gone to um, a, a thinner kind of paper so I can staple it all together because there's a lot of instructions here. So not only have I done instructions for three flowers, I've actually done instructions for 10 different flowers. So I'm just gonna show you the front bit where you can see what you're gonna be able to do. and. Uh, instructions for all those different flowers in there even down to how to shade them because i know with some flowers let's look at this one for example here we go so there's the outline how to actually shade these flowers so you get a decent looking image there we go so uh, that's that's coming but um i've actually got Oh, I, I, he came up with 12 different flowers, but I can't fit them all in the book. So what I'm probably going to do is set up a, a session where um, you'll get a link in with your product that you can come and join me on a Zoom class and uh, work out we can do the other two or three flowers that I uh, I wanted to put in there as well. So that should be fun. So if you're around on Thursday, I'll be demonstrating that in one way, shape or form with along with a few of the products. But... Uh, yeah have a lot of fun with it but yeah back to your tile enjoy this have a have a bit of fun with it and uh, let me know how you get on 
So, okay. Um, is there a poppy? There isn't a poppy, but it, it was going to go in the book, but I can show you how to draw one. And yes, it will be on the website, but not until it's been on Harvey Maker. So, uh, anybody wanting it from America too, I shall probably take it to Crafters with me on the 24th. So, <laughs> there, there's your answer, Kathy. Yeah, I do sell to US customers. Uh, so whether you come direct or whether you go via Crafters TV, uh, I know their postage is a little bit better than mine because they post a lot more out. So, uh, yeah, there's always ways. So, okay, have fun, everybody, with this one. Enjoy, and I will uh, see you soon. All right, you take care. Bye.